Okay. This is Susan Leventero. Okay, so I shuffled the cards and then the camera overheated. Okay, so maybe um, there were some heated arguments or something. Um, Capricorn. I don't know. Anyway, the camera overheated. I had to turn on the fans and cool it down. And so um, let me go ahead and finish your story. I shuffled and that's that was that video cut off. Okay, so let's see. So we started here. Okay, hangman reverse. Okay, so you might have been dealing with a Pisces, right? Okay, so, okay, it's reverse. So if that's you, okay, because maybe um, you were with a, a Pisces to balance that energy out. Okay, so coming out of that, uh, okay, and walking, let's see, walking out of, wanting to be in love because he here we have the five of swords here so maybe there was some fighting heated arguments okay i don't know the camera heated up <laughs> okay so nine of swords and knight of cups okay so maybe there is some element of feeling like um somebody wasn't being up front okay okay in love okay why i wonder let's see hold on a second nine of swords high priestess okay so maybe it had to do with money is what i'm picking up here okay so nine of swords and high priestess so there again is that pisces energy okay so now i'm not sure who did who capricorn we're doing capricorn Okay, but in the last video, it showed like all kinds of energy. So, <clears throat> you can have uh, either come into contact with those energies or you are harnessing those different energies to balance everything out within yourself. Okay, so then, okay, so going into your intuition and tuning to figure balance out the, any kind of shadow okay um and going into that strength energy okay but next to the let next to the devil energy hold on a second okay so yeah um i feel like that was a lot of wasted energy when you could have been um using that towards work or something more productive is what I'm picking up. See here, you're wrestling with the uh, alligator. <laughs> okay, all right, so, okay, so that's exerting. That's also like, uh, might have some, some uh, degree of resistance also, okay? So, okay, fighting those inner, um, inner demons, okay? Okay, and you would know what those are, okay? Okay, yeah. Then feeling, wanting to block everything out. Okay, so. Okay, so. <clears throat> and then maybe feeling like everyone's out to get you. You know, sometimes that, it, you feel like that. When one, it's like, Okay, so like for example, if you open a hole in the fabric, right? And then some more of those energies can come surging in because that, that actually happened to me <laughs> this year. Oh, anyway, so I'm kind of in the same boat too, okay? And I'm trying to recharge and um, uh, get my spiritual juices um, uh, up again. <clears throat> okay. So, moving into transformative energy is what I'm seeing. That brings you into the emperor, okay? So, also, I'm picking up here, some of you might have a Scorpio uh, dad also, okay? And um, see here, he's got a Capricorn thing on his pen on his chest. Okay, so, all right, so... Or it could be vice versa, okay? Maybe you have a daughter or a son. That's a Scorpio. Okay, so Ace of Swords. 
okay? Cutting through all those entanglements, okay? Being more flexible, okay, with our children and people, okay? Even though we're in charge, bring in that flexibility and truth and clarity, okay? And that can bring us to, uh, okay, so it says Knight of Swords and Knight of Coins. So moving towards okay more prosperous time okay and also i'm picking up again children here okay but then also wanting to uh still move ride the white horse okay in love okay so but i'm picking up father son here okay i don't know why but okay capricorn okay Okay, so also I'm picking up with that. If you are the sun, Cap, if you are the sun, S O N, Capricorn, then you want to be mindful and also set your boundaries with dad, okay? And tell him the truth, okay? Because you were here. So tell him the truth about what it is you really want and also set boundaries with him so that he's not so, um, bossy <laughs> and Capricorn you have that element too so all right so okay all right now what am I getting here okay so then here comes the chariot I feel like uh, this is your energy Capricorn okay but then um, so it looks like you you all are going in opposite directions okay um, you see what I'm getting with this okay so this is where you pull in the cancer energy I don't know if this has already happened or if it's gonna happen but this is where you are choosing to this could be your future self okay pulling in that cancer energy okay or maybe you attracted a cancer energy that could have been possible too. pulling in that cancer energy okay which would be uh, the more uh, caring, feeling, sympathetic, okay, uh, comforting, protective, okay, tender, okay, um, receptive, okay, that's like uh, some of the qualities of cancer, okay, sentimental, okay, uh, family oriented, okay, so. So even though if you go in opposite directions, okay, you can choose whatever you want, okay, but still um, being tender and offering compassion, okay, and flexibility in that relationship dynamic, okay, and not be so uh, maybe um, inflexible, okay, maybe like dad was perhaps, okay, and that would bring you to your wish fulfillment okay that will bring balance okay and um, so uh, when I looked at that I heard the song little lamb okay what movie is that in was it um, anyway there's a song little lamb and it's a really sweet and tender song and so uh, perhaps um, when you're feeling um, like using your horns Capricorn maybe uh, tap into that song uh, the tenderness of that song little lamb okay so I leave that with you and in your wishes and dreams coming true okay thank you for thank you Capricorn for being here